exposure of mercury from dental amalgams is the major contributor to human body burden and that it does cause a lot of systemic and neurological illnesses to the American population. As a matter of fact, there is tons of proof showing that they are causing heavy metal toxicity in Americans. 300,000 Americans a year die of sudden cardiac death. People you see dying on the football field or the basketball court during tourney time at exhaustion, you don't see girls dying of it. It's mainly boys. And those people have 22,000 times more mercury in their heart tissue than people who die of cardiac arrest. I mean, heart attacks. And they're, they're spending millions of dollars looking at what is the cause of sudden cardiac death. This is an interference of the electrical conductivity of the neurons in the heart, the nerves in the heart. And they're not looking at mercury, even though there was a paper published from Europe saying that these hearts, the people who have this problem, retain tremendous amounts of mercury in their heart tissue, as well as antimony. They have a, an efflux problem. And yet our government will not look at it. The American Heart Association and the National Institutes of Cardiovascular Disease, etc., have not funded any research in that area to look at the effect of where this mercury comes from and why it's being collected in this heart tissue. And that was published in 1999, so it's been, you know, over 10 years.